I should try to stay out of sight. Dead, I think. Let me check. You're dead! So much for you and your creepy mask. I'll find you again! Ha! Ah, no!
Need something? The soldiers laugh at me. Their commander says my writing is a disgrace to Athens. Why? Is your writing that bad? It is not. But they think I shouldn't write at all. They say I should spend my time indoors, out of sight. Who are they to stifle me because I am a woman? Some weaker men feel shamed by intellect. My father made sure I was educated. He always encouraged my writing. If anyone brings shame to Athens, it's that commander and his cursed soldiers. Of course. Do you want me to deal with the Athenian commander? His blood must be spilled. I'm in. You're a true hero. I'll be back when everything's taken care of. You again. Have you killed him? Your man is dead. By Apollo, thank you. This is for you. Thank you.
the wisdom. Does it please you, I wonder, to watch your city on the verge of battle? Get it. I might have a job for you. If you're as good a fighter as I've heard. You've heard of me? Don't let it go to your head. I hear about everything that happens in this city, Mistyos. With flattery like that, how could I possibly turn you down? I'm not trying to flatter you. I'm trying to hire you. I need some Spartan military targets removed. I'll help you if I can. Depending on what it is you need, General... Demosthenes. Very good. My spies tell me the Spartans are mobilizing. What I want you to do is hamstring them. Get into their forts and remove the commanders in charge. I guess that makes sense. I'm thrilled you approve. You'll need to bring me the sailors of the commanders you kill as proof. You'll be amply rewarded. Those don't seem like standard Athenian tactics. They're not. But it will work, and that's what matters. We've already lost too many Athenians to those savages using traditional warfare. The other generals disagree, but I refuse to let them destroy our chances. What do they want to do? They want honorable face-to-face -face warfare, pitting our forces directly against the Spartans. We're not going to win a contest of strength against those brutes. We need to outthink them. So, will you kill the commanders? All right, I'll take the job. Good. I might not have approval to deploy our men to do this, but I'm not about to let that stop me. What's so special about these seals? Only elite Spartan commanders carry these seals. Those in charge of entire forts. They'd all die before parting with them. So bring me the seals as proof that they're dead. Where can I find them? The Spartans have been making inroads into Athenian territory, taking over forts that once belonged to us. Make them pay for every inch. What's your strategy? Whatever it takes to protect Athenian lives and kill Spartans. That's not what I meant. What's your personal strategy? My career is none of your business. Know that I don't seek much. Only proper recognition of my strategic brilliance. You've told me enough. I'll get your seals for you, General. They'll keep a sharp watch here. <laughs> oh. 
Off we go now. Ella. I don't want to be spotted here.
Come on. Ella.
That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. It looks like I'll have to report you, Socrates. It's what a good citizen would do, right? Oh, very good. Although a bit preemptive without all the details, wouldn't you say? It was a joke. The real question is whether there is truth behind the joke, or if one's mind can be changed once the whole story is revealed. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. Should be vigilant here. Leave this place. That's the thief. You won't escape. Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystheus judge me... Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had a drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Any reason you picked this specific horse? 
it was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. Did you steal the horse to use it or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There's no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It'll do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the law. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay.
quest on the ship's board. I have a good feeling about this one. Welcome back! There's a message for you on the board. Came from the Vilos Islands. One of the cultists is there, Cassandra. His name is Podarkis. You reading my messages, Varnavas? I may have taken a peek. Find what you were looking for in Athens? A few clues, but this won't be easy. Well, it's a good start. All we can do now is trust the path the gods have laid out for us. I'm not the only one looking for my mother. The cult that wanted Nicola is dead. They're also on my trail. Ah, oh, they're no match for you. You got that right. Pio, 
There's much to do, and many unknowns on our horizon. Come on. of us.
The mighty Tyrians. Built by the Cyclopses. Or so the legend goes. Let's go. Hippocrates' clinic.
Apparently, the commander is not too happy with us lately. This area is restricted! Stay right there! For glory! Do it! Get going! Ur dinam epistevin tuto! Apaton thalas anandris! That's the end. Να γαθήν λακτίζεις. 
Apollo himself should smite your precious Hippocrates. But Priestess, Hippocrates does respect Apollo. What an outrageous claim. Your words are daggers thrust into the heart of our faith. Do you want to bring ruin to all of our holies? Of course not, but... Then tell me where to find Hippocrates. <laughs> Forgive me, but I, I really can't help you. Huh? Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patients. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way! Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis, at least? Yes, but he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. Is this his workshop? It's Hippocrates' clinic. Here we study healing, offer treatments, and provide care to anyone who asks. Why not work with the priests in the sanctuary of Asclepios? It's what this region is known for, right? The priests try their best, but their methods are stuck in the past. Hippocrates is researching new cures and treatments. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. What kind of equipment? They're just medical necessities. Knives and gut for sutures, bandages. Oh, and uh, an enema bag for clearing the bowels. That had to better be properly wrapped. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? I'll be sure he gets the equipment. You have my thanks. How will I know when I've found Hippocrates? Follow the road southeast of Hera's watch to the cave of Pan. He won't have set up far from it. Look for a long line of sick people. He's uh, balding, but I wouldn't mention that if I were you. 